Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam for FXD79.com, and today I'm going to be teaching you the Java programming language. Uh, this is a very, very easy learn language to pick up and start uh, using right away. I'm going to show you how to compile a program in this very first tutorial, but this is the first tutorial in a series of tutorials in which I'll teach you uh, in depth the Java programming language. Um, if you don't already have it, go to java.com and click free Java download if you don't have it. Uh, if you do already have it and you're positive of that, just skip this step. If you don't know if you have it or not, just go ahead and download it. There's no harm in uh, re-downloading Java. Just uh, go ahead and download and install it. And then we'll go to uh, oracle.com. I'll put this in the in the description. But uh, what we need is the JDK. So we'll go to this page and we'll click Java Platform JDK 7. And what that stands for is Java Development Kit which will uh, allow us to develop programs for Java. Go ahead and download the 32-bit, uh, which is x86, or the 64-bit, which is x64, whichever applies to your software, uh, your system. So once you have that installed, both of those installed, um, you can go to your desktop or wherever you want to start programming and uh, just open up some kind of text editor that uh, you like. What's cool about Java is you can make it in every single every and any text editing program that you could possibly want to edit in. So just for the purpose of this tutorial I'll make it notepad because that's probably the most basic thing out there and everyone has it. So we will um, get this open and I'm just going to be showing you the uh, bare bones of how to compile a Java program. It will not be this hard in the future. We have some ways of making this easier. Uh, but if you don't know what I'm typing in the uh, box, just don't worry about it, and we'll focus on it a little bit later. Just copy and paste exactly what I write into your own uh, notepad, and you'll be set to go. In the future, I'll explain what I'm writing. So we start off every program with public class and then a name. We'll call this Hello World. And then we'll use open bracket, whatever you want to call it. I just call it a bracket, even though it's not really a bracket. It's like a squiggly bracket. Uh, but you know if I say bracket that's usually what I mean so we'll say public static void main uh, open parentheses capital string open bracket close bracket args and close parentheses and then open bracket I just like formatting them this way so it makes it easier to read and we'll type system out dot print ln which stands for uh, line hello world now uh, I hate hello world applications just as much as the next guy but if you're learning a new language then it really is an essential part of just learning how to compile programs and uh, learning the basics of it so that's a Java program right there which you see in front of you it's a very basic Java program but nonetheless it is a Java program so We'll go ahead and hit save as, and what we have to do is save it exactly as the name of uh, what is up here. So we'll type hello world, capitalization counts people. Uh, then change it to all files and add a .java extension to the end of the name. Then we'll hit save, and that should have saved my desktop right there. So we'll minimize this for the time being, and we'll go ahead and compile this program. It's not a compiled program yet, it's just the uh, save, save work of what we've done. So. We'll go to the start menu, and if you're on Windows XP, hit run, and then type in CMD. But on Windows, we'll just type in CMD and hit enter. And that'll bring up our command prompt. What we're going to do is type CD, which stands for Change Directory Desktop. So now we're on the desktop, and uh, command prompt can read the files that are on our desktop. And we'll type in Java. It should come up with all these options and all this list of stuff we don't really need to know about. But uh, if it doesn't do that, then it means your path is wrong. And what you need to do is go to your Java installation folder, which is this right here. So basically, go back to your local disk, your C drive, and then go to Program Files. Not this one, this one. Program Files, Java, JDK, whatever the version is. At this time, it's 1.7. Then go to Bin, and that should be your class path. So go to Start Menu, right-click on Computer, or and hit properties or just go to your uh, my computer and hit properties and then hit advanced system settings then go to environment variables and hit edit and then paste that in there and hit OK 
and then if you restart uh, command prompt you should be able to type in Java and get all those options if not just search Google for uh, your specific problem what, what kind of error code you're getting or whatever so now we'll compile this program by using Java C which stands for compile hello world dot Java alright so that makes a new class file hello world dot class on our desktop and that is a compiled program that is ready to run so we'll type in Java hello world and we'll type in hello world alright so that's com that's uh, what we coded it to do so we'll delete this real quick and we change this to effectsdude79.com so it'll print that out and then we compile it again Java C hello world oh. Java C hello world dot Java so I'll make that class file again and we'll type in hello Java hello world dot class I'll type in oops Java hello world so you don't need the extension when you're compiling but you do need you or you do need the extension when you're compiling you don't need it when you're running it or else you get errors so it'll print out whatever we put in that box uh, so yeah that's just a very simple Java program so these are the very basics the bare bones in the next tutorial I'll go ahead and show you how to set up Java and how to get everything up and running so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and if you enjoyed this please subscribe rate it up thumbs up and I appreciate it thanks